Hello and welcome to this Dot Trost Maths key skill video on squaring a bracket involving thirds. So we have some bracket involving thirds and we just want to square it. Now this is no different to multiplying out two brackets with thirds. In general, if you want to do some bracketed expression squared, that just means that thing multiplied by itself. So we write it out twice so that it's being squared, and we multiply out the brackets as usual. So we do each thing in the first bracket times each thing in the second. We saw that in a different video. So we do this first thing times each of the things in the second bracket. Root three times root three is just root nine, and the square root of nine is just three. We do the square root of three times two, which is two root three. And then we do the second thing in the first bracket multiplied by each thing in the second. Two times root three is two root three and two times two is four. And then we simplify by first collecting the 30 terms together. So two lots of root three plus two lots of root three is four lots of root three. And then we add the non 30 things together. The three plus the four is seven. So that's the final answer. And if you were to type that into a calculator, your calculator would give you that expression if you want to check. Now B, so when we square this, it means you multiply it by itself. So 3 root 5 minus 4, multiply by itself. Do not use a time symbol, just write the two brackets next to each other. In algebra, we generally want to avoid the time symbol as much as possible and put things next to each other, potentially using brackets instead. So the same thing as before, we do the first thing in this first bracket multiplied by each of the things in the second. So 3 root 5 times 3 root 5. Now to multiply more complicated thirds like this, we first multiply the non-thirds together, so the things without the square root, 3 times 3 is 9. And then we multiply the thirds together, root 5 times root 5 is root 25, and we'll simplify that on the next line. Then we do 3 root 5 times minus 4, well positive times negative is negative, I try to get the sign right first, and then we times the non-thirds together, 3 times 4 is 12. And then we times the thirds together, where well, root 5 is the only third, we get that. And then we do the second thing in this first bracket, multiply by each of the things in a second. Now, negative times positive is negative. We times the non-thirds together, 4 times 3 is 12. And then we times the thirds together, we've just got that root 5. And now we finally do negative 4 times negative 4, negative times negative is positive, make sure you get the sign right, 4 times 4 is 16. Now, let's simplify first before we try to collect stuff together. The square root of 25, well that's a square number, so it's just 5. 9 times 5 is 45. And let's just copy this for the moment, I could have simplified at the same time, but I just want to take it one step at a time here. Now let's just collect the non thirds together first, it doesn't matter which we start with. We've got the 45 and the 16. 45 plus 16 is 61. And then we collect the third terms together. We've got negative 12 lots of root 5 minus 12 lots of root 5. That's minus 24 lots of root 5. And that is the final answer.